Okay, guys. So in today's video, I'm just going to be, you know, kind of covering a little bit about the uh, the integrated webcam that I have here uh, through Windows 11. It's a Lenovo laptop. I've had this for a few years now, and I don't I haven't really used the webcam very much um, at all. So maybe maybe a handful of times through Zoom or, or Skype or whatever um, or Teams calls. But regardless, I just wanted to show you kind of what steps I took to get this working. I've been having intermittent issues with this. So honestly, I just, I think that the lab, it just needs a new camera or it's just not really compatible with some of the software that I'm using, especially for the screen sharing software and, and video editing, things like that. Now I did get this working. Okay. I, I had it working, but then it stopped working. So it's a very, it's some crazy issues and it did, I'll show you what I did to get it working. Uh, whether or not it's going to work for your scenario, I don't know. But just wanted to show you some options and, and things to try. Okay, so if you don't even know where to start, or so this is kind of a, a collaborative, you know, approach to everything that I've researched and that I've just done on my own. So first thing you want to do is open your camera app, and this was just working a few minutes ago. So I, I just think that I need to. I'm actually going to be upgrading to a, a more uh, compatible, you know, streaming camera, an external source. So I don't have to worry about drivers and things like that. So you open this up. And it's like, for, for this situation, you can see it's not working. Okay, I even, I opened this up a few times, I restarted it. And you always want to check first where you want to start is with the settings. All right, you just want to kind of scroll through here and just kind of briefly scan and look at these and make sure, you know, everything's okay. If you see anything completely out of sort, you might not. But um, you can also check all the settings, things like that here, um, related settings. And this is 2024, so you can see I, uh, this is a brand new program that I, that I installed. After I uninstalled that, I'll show you how to do that. But Okay, so under related settings, I mean, you can change the privacy settings, things like that. I'll show you everything, but basically just want to open the camera, check the settings. Okay, so my camera is actually flashing. There's a light on top of the... It's intermittently flashing, not working. But uh, what I did to get it working... And like I said, your scenario might be a little bit different. So you want to open settings, okay? I do have settings open here, as you can see. And first thing I checked for was Windows Update. Okay, you want to make sure everything's good to go here. Check for updates. I actually just did this yesterday. I had some updates that came through. So I said, okay, that's a good, that's a good place to start. Okay, so I'm already up to date, right? Um, so... From there, under step two, you're going to check for your updates and run your run your antivirus. Okay, so I have McAfee. I ran that yesterday. No issues. However, sometimes if you do have like an external webcam or the integrated one, it might, uh, you know, have some issues as it, you know, relates to your antivirus. You might have to temporarily disable that inside that specific program. So that's an option to consider. But this is an internal one, so I don't know how much interference it's really going to have with it. But, you know, it's an option to check, right? So now we're going to go into advanced options here. Still under settings. Nothing with the Windows updates here. You go to advanced options. And from here, I'm going to scroll down. Uh, where did I go? I want, I want to do optional updates. There are no optional updates available at this time. Okay, so there's no other updates for any of the software or other drivers that are showing. Zero available as well. Okay, so from there... We're going to go to step four, which is uh, the Bluetooth and devices. So I'm going to go under camera, integrated camera, Bluetooth and devices, and I hit cameras. Okay, of course, if you have an external source, you're going to hit search for cameras, go through those prompts, whatever. But integrated camera, see, it's, it's having some kind of finicky issue here. But when this does get to open up, there's a troubleshooting option here. You can quickly see. You may have to actually disable this and then, you know, re-enable it as well. So there's an option that you can check. Camera privacy settings. This is something else that you want to check. You want to make sure that the camera has access to all these uh, apps and programs below. So make sure this is toggled to the on position. And then you're just going to check here and make sure that, you know, whatever program you're using, using it under is going to work fine. So I use this OBS Studio. Oh, where'd it go? For my screen sharing. And I think it's just, it's not... Uh, I don't think it's very compatible with this. I've, I've only used it a few times, and majority of the times I've had some issues with it. So just check your programs. Make sure that's on. I mean, these are very simple troubleshooting steps for you. 
Okay, so let's assume that that's all good, right? Um, you're going to follow the prompts and then hit camera privacy settings, which we did that to make sure that everything's checked here. Uh, step five, device manager. Okay, so you just search device manager. This is actually what worked for me the first time. So as you pull up device manager, you can click on camera, right click on integrated camera, uh, hit properties. This is gonna bring up everything. It says this device is working properly. So that some tells me there's some kind of issue as it uh, correlates to the software that I'm gonna be using. And you wanna hit driver. Okay, you see the driver date here? This is only from like, you know, yeah, what, 2023? Okay, so yeah, just a little over a year ago. When I actually checked this the first time, it was from 2020. So that was, you know, over four years old. So that's something to, to consider, right? This is kind of where I started to realize that I might have some issues. Um, so you want to just see if you can update it. Okay, so you're going to try to update it. Nothing found. How do you want to search automatically? Okay, so they're already installed. So the latest drivers are already installed. Okay, which, which is fine. You can search for updated drivers again. And that's going to bring you back to where we were. So that's that, right? So it's just a different way to get to that location as far as the privacy and uh, security settings. So back to device manager. Cameras, integrated camera. Uh, what you want to do is what I did is I just uninstalled it after I, um, I just uninstalled the device. So it says you're about to uninstall this. You hit, you hit uninstall. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and what will happen is it'll uninstall it. And once that runs through a few seconds, you go up to action and you hit scan for hardware changes. And it's just going to scan everything um, and just kind of update and refresh everything you just did. So when you pull this up, essentially there won't be anything here. Okay, so there's none of this stuff will be there because it's going to be uninstalled. Okay, so at that point, what you're going to want to do, go back to our notes here. So you can try the update. If nothing found, uninstall the device. Okay. And then we went through the action at the top. You scan for the hardware changes. We just did that. Last step, you're going to Google search your laptop uh, for your laptop or your device. Mine's a Lenovo. And this is what I searched, Lenovo Integrated Camera Driver for Windows 11. And then you're just going to click on it, typically the first link that comes up. And release date, as you can see, it's, you know, 2023, right? So this is what I downloaded. And then you just follow the prompts. It downloads up here. You click on it. And, you know, everything should be installed from there. And then what you're going to want to do is just probably restart it and make sure everything gets refreshed. Anytime you make changes, it's always the first thing you check, right? You want to restart the computer, restart the program, things like that. So hopefully this helped you out and at least gave you a you know, good direction on where to start and to check for issues with your webcam. But I'm going to be upgrading mine, so I think that's what's what's causing it. It's just old, and I just don't think it's really compatible with some of the software, even after I've downloaded it and redownloaded the programs, etc., and updated the drivers. So still having issues, but that's kind of a good place to start. So hopefully this help is helpful for you guys. Please stay tuned and uh, like and share for uh, you know other options. Thanks, guys.